whenever there's a public appearance, like his birthday, mm. you were there, and the way you is is not entirely, you know, up on his feet yes, at the moment. Yes, he has dementia. Yes, dementia at the yes. moment. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, and you've held his hands, held his the, hands whole the whole time. We mm. see, it. we don't even see the ones inside the house. Mm. But whenever there's a public appearance, like his birthday, mm. you were there, and the way you handled him with love and with care and with patience, mm. we could tell. We know when people are just. But just you know for the sake of the cameras mm. but we could tell that it was in every single detail in the tiny things even when you didn't know you were being recorded mm. and speaking to him um but today you know after how many so many years how many years were you we've been married for 37 years but we've known each other for 40 42 we've been dating yeah. yes. we were dating you know for fight for Five years before we got married. Oh five my, or five years. Oh before. my gosh! I need advice from from the <laughs> angle of what is it like that this is it like mm. literally in health and in sickness. How is it for you? Your mental state. How have you been able to bring yourself to this spot um, um, and just continue to be there for your husband? Well, I I have to be very honest. It hasn't been easy. In the early years when we first started, we didn't even realize it had started. We just were like, ah, ah, why are you behaving like this? What's happening to you? You know, things like that. But when when it then, you know, kind of the deteriorations became a bit more rapid. Oh, my darling, you didn't want to see me at that time. I, I, I was born, I always used to bawl my eyes out, you know. Um, and then, you know, there now came a point of acceptance that this is, this reality. is it. This is the reality. It is what it is. And it's almost like the person you married, 80% of the time is no longer there. It's, it's, it's another, you know. Um, and, but the thing is this, when he was there, he was an amazing man. And because he was an incredible, my, my husband is an incredible father to his children. <laughs> And an amazing husband who was practically my best friend and I could share anything with him, you know. Um, so in this journey now, it's like I'm looking after my father. Do you understand? Now, guys, it's good to be good. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. This is what I was trying to explain to you people about me and you. You see what now they try to talk. You took your time to listen to this interview. Look at what this woman said about a husband this life where we did so eh, is good to be good because nobody knows tomorrow olu jacob is a popular nigerian nollywood actor there's no part you give him that he cannot hurt very well if you don't want to act moving they bring olu jacob come if you don't want to watch, once you see him, you watch. If you don't want to laugh, once he enter, you laugh. If you talk of action, you do action. If you talk of slow ones, if you talk of Igwe, he's very good at his job. You see how many years they have been together. They dated for five years before marriage. 42 years together. Mm. My people, you see what it is, woman, they go through. I go tell you the reason why this woman is still dead today for the man is because he was a good husband and he was a good father 
when Olu Jacob used to be Olu Jacob. The wife of his youth, the woman that understands you, is very, very, very important. That's why online in laws they beg you. Online in laws not hate you. People they misunderstand it. Online in laws does not hate you. Then they tell and say the thing way they do now, you will regret that later. Because nobody knows tomorrow. This is the wife of your youth. This is the woman that knows you better than any other person. Stay with your children and your wife. If you watch it, men that has polygamy, men will they marry two, three wives. Their end, not the day good. They say good when everybody gets now hungry, they kill them. If you watch most men that is polygamy, they don't they last long. See the way Olu Jacob's wife they care for his husband. Now because now only one they marry. Him. If he be two or three, we they marry. In the morning, he's going to go back. Go say, I take off for her now. It's time when he do okay. Not be you they enjoy her. Then I go say, eh, not be you born senior. Take care of her. Not be papa. Everybody go go. He go there they suffer. Sickness not good though. If somebody tell this man. 10 years ago, say now, so you go be, or 20 years ago, say today, 2023, this is you, Tom Vegetable. He's a great man. And the wife is a good woman. I go allow and watch the interview finish so you guys will understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. But some comments why they say I don't understand. It's like you go, you guys is not watching the interview. She did not say anything wrong. But she says she don't suffer. That is not easy. Say she don't cry herself. But now she's used to it. She's not crying anymore. She used to cry before. But now she's not crying anymore. Marry your so made marry with love not with pity what, what people don't understand when they say marriage it's not like today it's not play feature how you relate with your wife how you relate with your husband is very very important because of tomorrow if this man not good to his wife and his children oh god Maybe for don't buy for this sickness. Because he's good. To his wife and to his kicks. That's why you see the woman is still there supporting him. For everything. You are to say change. You change for your own good. Because of tomorrow. It's sad anyway. But that is life. <laughs> that is life. Oh. That's not life, Bill. Oh. Some people, I saw some comments. Some say, Why can't they tap on their marriage? Their marriage is not Their marriage is sweet. The man is sick. He did not invite the sick. He did not call for those who be sick. He did not call for dementia. This woman deserves an award. Yeah. Olu Jacob's wife deserves an award. She's a good woman. To get a wife like this is not common. This is kind of wife where God give you a doji, but you don't use her. Yeah. He refused to use. He refused to use them. Um. 
It's not easy. Oh. I employ her. I pray for her so that God can give her the strength to carry on. She's still smiling. Even when they invite the man for birthday party, go the whole lamb. Go carry and go. Hmm. That is good. It's good to be good. It's good to be good. Guys, watch the interview of uh, Olu Jacob, wife. She will explain. And leave your comments at the comment station. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye-bye, guys. My people, my people, make good not skip this video. Don't skip this video because I have something amazing that has changed the life of I and my family that I've brought to you today. Are you a Kenyan? Are you a Cameroonian? Are you a Nigerian living in the diaspora? It can be in the US, in the UK, in Canada, wherever it is. Who have left your country to come to abroad to find a better life? But here we are working overtime. Here we are working that stressful nine to five job. But still end of the month, we have nothing to show for it. Okay? We have our families to take care of back home. We have our kids to send to daycare we have our family to supplement to help our spouses supplement the family income some of us are single moms or single dads but we don't have that enough money state that said after all this stress is this the better life we've asked for my brother my sister if you want a change go ahead and finish watching this video and listen to what i have to tell you hi my name is rachel mensa i live in canada uh, canada with my beautiful family i have two beautiful girls i've been in canada for 10 good years okay i've worked the nine to five which is very can be very stressful but still end of the month i have nothing to show for it okay we have nothing saved aside i have my family back home all my siblings are back home so i help back home send them one i have to send my first one to daycare and they care fees, if you know they care fees, they care fees are very expensive. I was like, ah, this is not what I have planned for my life, okay? This is not what I've planned for my life. I have dreams. I have things that I want to do. I want to travel, go on vacations with my family and enjoy all this quality time. But I'm not doing that. I'm missing all those amazing milestones with my daughter. And there I was. I've gotten pregnant with my second one. And I told myself, there is no way I'm going to send my baby to daycare, have my two kids in daycare and be paying all the money I earn from my 9 to 5 job. So I was looking for something to supplement our family income. I was praying to God that God, this is not what I want to. I want something else, okay? I want that financial and time freedom for myself and my family. And guess what? While I was on my maternity leave, I was scrolling to the social media platform and I came across this amazing ad. Oh my God. I watched this ad. You know, everything that the lady said on this ad ticked all the boxes of everything I was looking for. At first, I was skeptical. I was like, hmm, online business again. I have been there, okay? But something told me, take a leap of faith and check it out. I took action right away and I joined this amazing, amazing business community, okay? Amazing online business community. And my brother, my sister, let me tell you about this online business. Are you worried about, I'm not a tech savvy? This business, you don't need to, to be a tech savvy, okay? Because step-by-step video-based training is being provided for you, okay? It's being given to you on a platter of gold, okay? You have been assigned a mentor and a coach who is going to guide you through the setup of your business. This community have over 161,000 people okay 161,000 people globally from all over the world from china from nigeria from cameroon from the anywhere you can think of they are all in this business we have teachers doctors okay we have stay at home moms name it whatever whatever occupation you're thinking about engineers are in this business okay if they're in this business i was like if, if all these people are here and they are doing it i can do it too so my brother my sister Thank God to this. Thank God for this business. I have been able to leave my nine to five job, and now I'm spending amazing quality time with my family. Guess what? I'm even going to Nigeria in the next month. And guess how long I'm staying? I'm staying for three months. My nine to five job. There is no way I would go home and enjoy three months back home with my family and get paid for it. This business is very flexible. Okay, you can put in any time, any amount of time you want. You can put in one hour, two hours. It is your choice. You can take it anywhere on the go. Okay, all you need is your phone, your laptop, and your Wi-Fi, and you are good to go. My dear, my brother, my sister, we are over here paying off mortgages. Okay, paying off our students' loans. Okay, going on vacations with our family. All because all thanks to this amazing business and people are doing this within few months of starting this business are you worried are you skeptical eh, that is a scam my brother my sister i have a lot to lose i have my kids for me to put my face on something that is scam okay government knows about this business okay by the end of the year you get your tax documents 
okay, for you to file your tax. So my brother and my sister, there's nothing to be scared about. This business, it is 100% legit, okay? As you are watching this video right now on Ada University's YouTube channel or Facebook page, the good you can do yourself is take a screenshot and send me a message on WhatsApp and I'll be more than happy to answer all the questions you have regarding this business. Also, go on my website and register with your first name and your email address and I will send you um, an email regarding the next step, okay, and all the info you need to know. My brother and my sister, the fact that you're watching this video, I don't think it's by chance. I think that God has sent you here. Perhaps this is the video that will change your life. Check it out. There is nothing to lose. I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you on the inside. Stay blessed. Bye.